This video is going to show how to find data on NCBI, specifically on the sequence read archive on SRA, and to use that data on the tBioInfo platform where you can analyze data without having to download it to your computer, without having to upload it back to the platform. So let's say I am interested in finding some data set to work with. Let's say it's a gene expression uh, data. So I'm going to go to NCBI, I can just search on Google for NCBI, and I will find this website right here. Now, as you know, NCBI is the National Center for Biotechnology Information, Collect contains a lot of different options for you to find data. Some data is processed, for example, uh, you can find some processed gene expression omnibus data sets uh, in the GEO database. You can also find the raw sequences on SRA. So let's say I'm interested in diabetes and there's a recent article that came out and that recent article is going to come from a uh, data set. Uh, let's just find here an article. You can see a public PCR present in a unique dual receptor expressing lymphocyte from type 1 diabetes patients encoded in a potent T-cell autoantigen. So this paper was published in Cell Press. Uh, how do we find the data that was published with this paper? This paper was published in 2019. What we need to do is we can go down here and we can start seeing related information. And uh, here we have the GEO data set. This will be the gene expression data from this data. And we can also find the sequence read archive. What's in the sequence read archive? are the raw files, FASTQ files, from this experiment. So you can see all of the different files. There's a total of 77 of them. And how do we find the actual data? Well, what we can do is we can go right here to Send To, click on File, and here in Format, we can select Run Info and Create File. So it's going to download a file. We can see that the file downloaded and I can look at this file. Now I'm not going to take all of the 77 files. What I would rather do is take a subset of those files. So here I've selected nine files. Some are dual expressors, some are B cell, and some are T cell. And what I'm also going to look for is the information about what kind of sequencing was done how do I find that? Here I can see that these are FASTQ files that are packaged in SRA. And I can also see that these are paired end library layout reads. And this is transcriptomic data. In other words, it's gene expression data measured in the transcriptomic data. And now I can go to server.t-bio.info. And I will arrive at the tBioInfo platform. The tBioInfo platform allows you to process these kinds of data sets easily uh, using our cloud infrastructure. You can request an account by just going here and clicking on access and filling out this form. So I'm going to go right here under RNA-seq chip parallel analysis of NGS and microarray data. I'm going to click here. Now, as you remember, I saw that this was paired and read, so I'm just going to change this to PE. Uh, if I look at what organism this was, it says right here the Homo sapiens or human. So I'm going to find here the latest assembly of the human genome, which is GRCH38, and click on File Upload. Now I don't have the raw files, all I have is the SRA run table, and I save this SRA run table Let's do it again. Let's do file, save as. We can't upload in uh, Excel. What we will do is use tab delimited text. So here I have the name of the project. I'm just going to delete any extra characters here um, and call this selected, right? Because I already selected several files from all of the links that I have. I'm going to save this. And this is just warning me that I am not going to be able to save Excel features, which I don't need the Excel features, just need the raw tab to limited TXT format. Now I'm going to go back here and here you can see NCBI run table upload. So I'm going to add files. And here I have this file that I just prepared, selected. 
go to choose, you can see that it uploads and shows you 100%. And now I can go to group selection. And now I would like to compare, for example, my dual expressors versus all the other ones. So the dual expressed uh, are the ones that are, let's look over here, dual expressor cells are the first three ones, and then I have six other ones, B cells and T cells. So I'm just going to uh, put the first three right here in group A, and all the rest I will put in group B. And now do contrasts. I'm just going to have all of the contrasts that are possible. In other words, the first group versus the second group, the second group versus the first group, all of the contrasts. And now I can build my pipeline. So the pipeline I will build, I will do some pre-processing steps to remove any of the library prep technical sequences. Then I am going to go to Bowtie2T to map on the genome generate an RSEM expression table and here I will use expected count because I want to do differential gene expression afterwards. I'm just going to click here or I can also use edge R as another option. So let's try edge R as well and let's click on end and I'm going to just save this. So diabetes cell lines uh, or no these are um, T or dual expressor versus T and B cells type 1 diabetes expressor and I'm just going to say uh, that this is edge R and run this pipeline now when this pipeline finishes running, you will see that the files have been uploaded directly from NCBI, from the SRA archive, and directly uploaded on the platform, and also saved under your account so you can use them later on. That's it for today, and thanks again for checking in.